not our room. I don't get it. What am I supposed to do now? Twiddle my thumbs? Feels like it. I think I've done just about everything I can do right now. I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. Oh, hey. <laughs> I guess we shouldn't complain. The food could be a lot worse. But a lot better, too. With more scrumptious karari and spices. I suppose the best we can do now is to head back to the council building. Lulu, be brave, even though I know you miss your mother. Who asked you? Don't get feisty, young man. I hope you need I hope I needn't worry about Fubar's behavior like I do yours. <laughs> Alright, so all I had to do is just sleep. Okay, that's that's fair enough. Fair enough, I guess, fair enough. So let us get back up to the council building and we should be done. Alright, come on, third time's charm. I can't believe how big this place is. I wonder how many councils it holds. You think this is big? The Lizard Clan Cave is large enough to hold ten of these. I've been informed that you are indeed inspected here. Expected, not inspected. It's about time. They await you within. You may enter. Finally, we get to do some actual storyline progression stuff. Oh great, now we get to wait inside instead. Big deal. I tried to warn you, officials do a lot more a lot of things that make themselves seem more important. Quite annoying. So sorry for I've kept you waiting. I walked down the stairs, funny. I represent the Zagzan Council. I have been responsible for delivering your message. Representative? Yes, a representative. I am the son of the Karari clan chief. I must deliver an official message to the Zagzan Council head. No one else. Perhaps it is difficult to appreciate the time constraints on the council. We deal with many people from outside our vast realm and we have little patience for what that which disrupts normalcy. How dare you show us such disrespect? It was a grasslands protection that allowed Zagzan to peddle its good as far as Jowston. Need I remind you that we share our profits with Grassland? Perhaps you desired more. Impudence! Quack, 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 quack. Now then, if you will please give me the message to me. Lucy and the clan chief didn't send me all the way here for such treatment. I must deliver this directly to the Zags, to the council head. Unfortunately, as I have tried to explain, the council is too busy now. It is the best I can do. We'll go fight it as much as possible. Because I feel like it. But... I beg your pardon, but I can't waste any more time. 
Such serious matters should be left to someone other than a child. <laughs> I happen to be a Kararian fighter. Fighter or not, in Zagzin, a person age determines what he is called, and here you're a child. Now, if you'll excuse me. Arr! If only Jimbo were here to see these iron heads. We did our best delivering the message. It's important to explain what happened to Lucia. I'm ready to go back now. Right now. Agreed. I've seen enough sags and rudeness to last me forever. think we're allowed to leave quite yet. Hold on a second. I'll figure that out. To see if we're allowed to leave. Because if I remember correctly, we're not allowed to leave quite yet. But I'm unsure. So I'm going to check first. Hugo, the best we can do is to return to the inn and get ready to head back to the grassland. Oh, so no, we're not allowed to go yet. We're going back to the inn. Because we need to go to the inn to be in. Yeah, inn. In, 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 in. Still playing away. Hopefully we can get Hugo's first chapter done. I'd like to. It's nighttime now. Woohoo! Nighttime. Woo! Fine establishment. Fine establishment. Ironhead seems too grand a term for some of the Zagsons we've met. Yeah, who do they think they are making us wait all that time and still treating us like intruders? I expected much different treatment, for sure, but there are still some decent Zagsons out there. I guess the people we met on the street seem nicer, except for all that staring. Now we can go back. I can't wait to get back. Soon, Lulu. We've got there's got to be something fun to do while we're here. Too bad people aren't more cooperative. Grasslands advantages are now clear to us. Don't forget them. I say we leave at the crack of dawn. Ha <laughs> ha. Hmm. That noise. Clink, 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 clink. Hmm? What's going on? It's two children and a duck. Be careful. It doesn't take much to get a grassy's ire up. Two men around back now. What? What's 
going on here? Forgive our intrusions, innkeeper. We have orders to detain the three grasslanders here. I had no idea they were criminals. It's so hard to know who to rent to these days. It's not what you think. We just need to ask them a few questions. Follow me. Dun dun dun. Huh? Um. Hmm? Guess not. Open window. Open window. Arr. They're on the run. After them. You don't have to shout, you know. I'm not deaf. I love Percival. <laughs> Pew! What's going on here? No idea, but if you ask me, Iron Heads in full battle gear aren't here to apologize. Run! We have, you know... There they are! You three! Halt! Somehow, I don't think they're here to chat. No, probably not. Lulu, on guard! These guys are actually rather rough, so... more than they should. Alright, they're down. Level ups. Yeah, level ups. New leather. Nice. Who's getting the new leather? Let's figure that out. Alright, now we got some new leather on Hugo. Alright, let's go. <laughs> 